Over the next several weeks, our garden will be producing more food than at any other time of the year. So I thought now would be a good time to give you a quick look around the garden and show you some of what we've been harvesting here in Zone 5 in early August. With the garden just out the back door, we usually harvest just a little at a time as needed for meals. One of our early morning rituals is to gather veggies for our breakfast green smoothies. Some of our favorite ingredients include kale, French sorrel, Swiss chard, tomatoes, carrots, and celery. Today I also added a little mint and burgundy amaranth leaves. Both are rich in antioxidants and mint adds some flavor to the smoothie. While collecting smoothie ingredients, I often snack on sugar snap peas, which are surprisingly still producing. I also stop by the blackberry bush for fresh picked blackberries. After harvesting my veggies and blending them with frozen fruit, a little apple juice, and a scoop of protein powder, I'm ready to drink my breakfast. We often have salads for lunch. Though our fall winter garden bed has mostly gone to seed and looks like a mess, it's still producing radicchio, arugula, red vein sorrel, parsley, garlic chives, and red orange, which are all great for salads. Tree collards make an excellent addition to salads as well. Though a little tough when eaten raw, they can work well when mixed with a variety of more tender greens. The same is true for Good King Henry, which is a new perennial green we added to the garden this year. After most of our cool weather greens have bolted, vegetable amaranth helps fill the void left by spinach and lettuce. It actually likes the heat and is just starting to take off now that we have consistently warm temperatures. Its leaves are more tender than other amaranth varieties and they make a great addition to salads. We also love cucumbers in salads and we're really excited to finally have them in our garden. In recent years we haven't had much luck growing them, mostly because of cool temperatures and limited sun. This year, however, we're growing them in a spot that gets full sun in the morning through the early afternoon, which is perfect for these Market Moore 76 organic cucumbers. The final additions to today's salad were carrots and tomatoes. These little Parisian carrots from Baker Creek are easy to grow and taste great. And our sweet million tomatoes are both plentiful and delicious. Dinner is usually our biggest meal of the day. In addition to all of the veggies already mentioned, there are a number of others that usually end up on our dinner menu. Potatoes are a perfect example. We love potatoes from the garden and we're still harvesting them as needed for our meals. Our pole beans were a little late getting started this year, but they're now ready to be harvested and we'll have even more in the weeks to come. This is also the time of year when summer squash are very prolific our zucchini plants are already going strong, and we've just started harvesting patty pan squash, with many more on the way. I know a lot of people don't like beets, but we love them, and we've had a steady supply of them over the past few weeks, and hope to have a continuous harvest into the fall. And though it's a challenge growing peppers with our limited sun, our jalapenos are ripening, and they've been spicing up our dinners for the last couple weeks. Finally, I don't want to forget our herbs. I mentioned chives earlier, but basil, oregano, sage, and rosemary are also frequent additions to our meals at this time of year. So there's a quick look at some of what we've been harvesting lately as our garden reaches its peak this summer. I tend to show more of our harvest on Facebook than in YouTube videos, so if you'd like to see more of what we've been growing, please check out my Facebook page. There's a link in the About section below. Well that's all for now, thank you very much for watching, and until next time remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.